So this is something I've talked about before. We're stopped here in Casa Grande, Arizona, and all the bays to charge are full, and there's two cars in front of me also waiting, so realistically, we have to wait for everybody to be done. So this is the downside. Yeah, we pay a lot less for charging, but you know, if there's a demand for the charger we're going to, we get, we're gonna have to wait, unfortunately. And right now, if we were trying to go home, we would actually arrive with negative 8% power, and I don't know if you're a mathematician or not, that's not possible to arrive with negative percentage power. So we're kind of beholden to everyone finishing up their charging here. Um, normally we get out of the car and do something, but uh, the place that we're at, I'm not a particular fan of when it comes to going inside. So we're just gonna have to wait here in the car with two cars in front of us and all the bays full. Hopefully they you know, empty out here pretty soon, but yeah, there's, there's a little bit of a wait. Only one of the downsides to having a car that requires charging. Oh well. All right, well this is a little annoying too. It's topping out at about 20 kilowatts. I've already disconnected and re-engaged a couple times. Um, this is a level three charger and I've definitely hit up to 700, 800 miles an hour before here. So, yeah. So it happens quite regularly. This gentleman just stopped and blocked traffic to get out and ask me about the car and how it works. So again, this is actually why I started the channel. So sometimes people wanna know what it is and why it's different. And well, it's different because it's usually more efficient, but still charging extremely slow. I mean, I know all six bays are full, but I'm also on bay 1A, which usually tends to be the fastest, which this really stinks because it's gonna take quite a while to charge here. All right, starting to gain a little momentum, but still, I guess, I don't know, it's just odd. The one we charged at earlier in Scottsdale jumped up to 500 miles an hour almost instantly. We've been charging now for, I don't know, what, five minutes? And it's finally up to 200 miles per hour, but still taking a bit. So this is where I feel bad too. We've been charging now for 10 minutes, we're getting going. Now there's three more cars. The two cars behind me have able to get their into their spots. Yeah, and it looks like it's got a nice right here. Still waiting. It's a long wait just to charge your car. Yeah, coming all the way down. Alright, so we're finally done heading back on the road. We charged just enough to get home. Uh, the reality is our 10 minute stop was actually about 40 minutes all in all. That was including the wait time, the charger going very slow, I'm assuming because all six were being used, um, but still only getting up as high as 20 uh, kilowatt, uh, or excuse me, I can't even talk right now, uh, getting as high as uh, 200 miles per hour charging, still kind of slower than expected even with that many people on the charger, but we got to charge enough, we're getting ready to head home. That just kind of cuts into our uh, schedule a little bit, but that's the life you choose when you get an EV, right? 